Hello students, in this video I am going to explain the concept of electronic spectroscopy. Before explaining this, you should know what is a spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is a concept of the interaction of an electromagnetic radiation with the matter. There are a different types of spectroscopies. Uh, like mass spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy, IR spectroscopy, electronic spectroscopy, etc. Today I will explain electronic spectroscopy. The name itself indicates that it is an electronic concept. So this type of spectroscopy which involves the promotion of electron from the lower energy to the higher energy level. So the in the ground state electrons present in the three principal orbitals like sigma, pi and n orbital. So for the electronic spectroscopy, uh, the excitation that is occur in the range between 200 to 800 nanometer, 200 to 400 nanometer is the ultraviolet region and 400 to 800 nanometer is the visible region. So the electronic spectroscopy is also called as ultraviolet visible spectroscopy because this type of transition takes place in this region. And what is the use of this type of spectroscopy? It is very useful to measure the number of double bonds and also aromatic conjugation in the system. And it also distinguishes between the conjugated and non-conjugated systems. And here there is one condition to show the electronic spectra that is the compound should contain double bond or triple bond and the lone pair of electron. So any compounds which contains a double triple bond and the lone pair of electron then such compounds can uh, exhibit the electronic spectra. As I told that the electronic spectroscopy or a spectrum that is the concept of transition of electron from the lower energy to the higher energy level. How does this excitation takes place? In order to excite an electron, we need to pass the electromagnetic radiation to the molecule. Then the molecule which absorbs that radiation and electron gets excited from the higher energy, uh, from the lower energy level to the higher energy level. So electronic spectrum is because of uh, absorption of radiation not by the emission of radiation. So the electronic spectroscopy or electronic spectrum is obtained by the absorption of uh, ultraviolet and visible light by the electron which is present in the molecule. As the molecule which absorbs the radiation then the electron gets excited from the occupied molecular orbital to the unoccupied molecular orbital or generally it is a transition from the highest occupied molecular orbital to the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. This concept can be understood by using this diagram. Here this represents the occupied molecular orbital or a ground state and this will be the excited state or it is called as an unoccupied molecular orbital because here um, before the absorption of radiation electrons may be present in the ground state. So it is called as a occupied and um, before the excitation the excited energy level will be empty so it is called as an unoccupied molecular orbital. Once the molecule which absorbs the radiation the electron present in the higher energy level. Um, here we can see the there are the, uh, different energy levels in the ground state as well as in the excited state so that um, once the molecule absorbs the radiation then electron present in this energy level will excite it to the higher energy level or it is the lowest energy level of the excited state. So it is called as a transition of electron from the highest occupied molecular orbital to the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital highest or a lowest in terms of a energy levels not in terms of a number of electrons present. 
then the, for this excitation certain amount of energy which is supplied to the molecule then the energy which is required for the transition is an fixed quantity so if we pass a electromagnetic radiation with a particular frequency then that substance which absorbs that radiation and electrons gets excited from the lower energy state to the higher energy state. Suppose if we supply the electromagnetic radiation with the lower frequency then or higher than frequency then it will not cause any excitation because the energy will not be absorbed by that molecule. Next let us discuss or uh, let us study the some of the statement of um, Lambert's law, Beer's law and Beer-Lambert's law. Before that, I will explain what is an absorption law. Uh, for that, you have to consider one of the solution. Solution in the sense, it may be a transparent or a non-transparent solution. Then we have to pass the electromagnetic radiation through that solution. Then if that solution is a transparent, then uh, the um, energy or the radiation will be uh, transmit as such or in some cases if the solution is a non-transparent then some of the radiation will be absorbed. In some cases some energy may be or a light may be reflected. So that intensity of the uh, electromagnetic radiation or incident uh, radiation that is given by I naught is equal to I A plus I T plus I R where I A is the absorbed light and IR is the reflected light and IT is the transmitted light. Let us see the statement of a Lambert's law here. It states that when a beam of monochromatic light that is passed through a homogeneous medium, then the rate of decrease of intensity of the radiation with the thickness of absorbing medium is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident radiation. Here mathematically it can be represented as a minus di by dt is equal to k into i where i is the uh, intensity of the radiation after passing through a thickness t and di is the small change in the intensity with the thickness dt and minus di by dt is the rate of change of intensity of the radiation and k is the proportionality constant. Next Beer's law. Here it states that when a beam of monochromatic light is passed through a homogeneous medium then the rate of decrease of intensity of the radiation is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution and the intensity of the incident light. Here it is given by minus di by dt is equal to k inverse into i into c where c is the concentration, i is the intensity, k inverse is the molar absorption coefficient and once again minus di by dt is the rate of change of intensity. Then the Beer-Lambert's law, here it is the combined law and it states that the quantity of a light absorbed by the substance when it is dissolved in a non-absorbing medium, the rate of decrease of intensity of the light is directly proportional to the concentration of the substance and the path length of the light. So it is given by a is equal to epsilon into C into L. C is the concentration and L is the length or a path length of the solution. Thank you.